Imagine successful women who, having achieved both financial prowess and personal triumph, decide to channel their wealth into something extraordinary. Homes that are not just beautiful, but equipped with every conceivable luxury. In a world where success meets style, these remarkable women have invested in dream residences that stand as testaments of grandeur, beauty and luxury. Let's peek inside the richest women's billionaire homes, where each room whispers stories of aspiration, style and the essence of a life lived extraordinarily. Nita Ambani's Antilia Tower, $2 billion. Antilia, named after an island from 15th century Spanish tales, is a 27-story architectural marvel that stands tall on Altamount Road. This magnificent structure, worth a staggering $2 billion, is a testament to the Ambani family's immense wealth and influence. As you approach Antilia, its towering presence commands attention. Standing at a height of 173 meters, 568 feet, with 27 floors, it is a sight to behold. The asymmetrical structure of the building adds a unique touch, setting it apart from the surrounding skyline. Antilia's architects Perkins and Will and Hirsch Bedner Associates crafted a design seamlessly blending modernity with traditional Indian elements. Approved by the Brihan Mumbai Municipal Corporation, the building adheres to the highest construction standards. Notably, Antilia is engineered to withstand a magnitude 8 earthquake thanks to Sterling Engineering Consultancy Services' meticulous work. This ensures a safe haven for its occupants. The top six floors, exclusively for the Ambani family, showcase their exquisite taste and attention to detail, creating a private residential space exuding unparalleled luxury. The design of Antilia draws inspiration from the lotus plant and the sun, incorporating these elements throughout the building. Crystals, marble and mother of pearl are used to create a sense of elegance and opulence in every corner. No two floors of Antilia are the same. Each floor boasts a unique design concept, ensuring that every space within the building is a work of art in its own right. The idea behind this approach is to create a sense of consistency while avoiding repetition. Antilia is not just a residence, it is a world of its own. The amenities within its walls are nothing short of extraordinary. The 168-car garage is a car enthusiast's dream, housing an impressive collection of luxury vehicles. The ballroom, with its grand chandeliers and exquisite decor, is the perfect setting for lavish parties and events. For those seeking relaxation and rejuvenation, Antilia offers a spa that rivals the most luxurious resorts. The temple within the building provides a serene space for spiritual contemplation. And let's not forget the specially designed snow room, where artificial snowflakes create a winter wonderland even in the midst of Mumbai's scorching heat. The attention to detail extends to every aspect of Antilia's design. The building features nine high-speed elevators, each leading to separate floors, ensuring seamless movement throughout the residence. The interiors are done in a pastel color theme, with shades of brown, beige and cream creating an atmosphere of elegance and tranquility. Antilia also boasts one helipad, although it is not currently operational. The Ambani family love for helicopters is well known, and the helipad is a testament to their passion for aviation. However, it awaits certification from the Director General of Civil Aviation and approval from the Central Defence and Environment Ministries. Antilia's completion in November 2010 was marked by a grand housewarming ceremony. However, Mukesh Ambani and his family delayed moving in, adhering to superstitions. After addressing Vastu concerns and conducting pujas guided by renowned Pandits, the Ambanis finally took up residence in September 2011. Controversies surrounded Antilia, notably regarding the land it occupies. Originally housing the Kurimboy Ibrahim Koja Yatim Khana orphanage, the sale of the 4,532 square meter plot to Mukesh Ambani's Antilia Commercial Private Limited raised questions about the transaction's legality and ethics. According to the Waka Fact, any sale of land belonging to a charitable trust should be done with the permission of the Maharashtra State Board of WAFs. However, the sale of the land to Antilia Commercial Private Limited was done without the required permission. The WACF minister, Nawab Malik, and the Maharashtra government's revenue department opposed the sale of land for Antilia, citing WACF Act violations. A stay order halted the sale, leading to a WACF board's PIL in the Supreme Court. Despite objections, the sale eventually proceeded. In 2011, the union government urged Maharashtra to involve the CBI, adding controversy. A decade later, Abdul Martin's PIL reignited the legal battle, heard by a special court bench. Antilia's controversies prompted debates on the wealthy's responsibility. Ratan Tata criticized owners for lacking empathy towards the less fortunate, questioning their societal role. Despite criticism, Antilia's architectural marvel and ambition earned admiration. The property's grandeur symbolizes success, showcasing the potential heights of wealth and ambition. Antilia remains a powerful symbol, embodying the influence of immense wealth and the accompanying responsibilities despite controversies and criticisms.
Beyonce Malibu Estate, $200 million. Jay-Z and Beyonce made headlines with their mind-blowing real estate purchase of the Malibu estate worth an astonishing $200 million. This luxurious property has shattered records, becoming the most expensive home ever sold in California. Situated in the prestigious Paradise Cove area, also known as Billionaire's Row, this architectural masterpiece offers breathtaking views of the Pacific Ocean. At the heart of this architectural masterpiece is the visionary work of renowned Japanese architect Tadao Ando. Known for his minimalist style and innovative use of concrete, Ando has created a harmonious blend of nature and modern luxury in Beyoncé's Malibu estate. Every aspect of the design has been carefully considered to create a seamless integration with the surrounding landscape. One of the defining features of this estate is the extensive use of concrete throughout the structure. Ando's mastery of this material is evident in every corner of the property. From the sleek monolithic exterior to the polished concrete floors, the use of this versatile material adds a sense of elegance and timelessness to the estate. Beyoncé's Malibu Estate seamlessly blends indoor and outdoor living spaces, allowing for a truly immersive experience. Expansive floor-to-ceiling windows and sliding glass doors open up to panoramic views of the Pacific Ocean, creating a sense of connection with the natural surroundings. Step outside into the meticulously landscaped gardens and you'll find yourself in a tranquil oasis. Lush greenery, serene water features and carefully placed seating areas create a sense of serenity and relaxation. As you enter the estate, you're greeted by a grand entrance that sets the tone for the rest of the property. A sweeping staircase adorned with intricate handrails leads to the upper levels of the house. The double-height foyer is bathed in natural light thanks to strategically placed skylights, creating a sense of grandeur and openness. The interior of Beyoncé's Malibu estate is a testament to opulence and sophistication. Spacious living areas feature high ceilings, custom-designed furniture and exquisite artwork. The open concept layout allows for seamless flow between the different spaces, making it ideal for entertaining guests or simply enjoying enjoying quality time with family. No luxury estate would be complete without state-of-the-art amenities, and Beyoncé's Malibu residence is no exception. A private theatre, a fully equipped gym, and a temperature-controlled wine cellar are just a few of the lavish additions that cater to the couple's every need. The estate also boasts a spa-like master bathroom, complete with a soaking tub and a steam shower, providing the ultimate in relaxation and indulgence. For those who love to entertain, the outdoor spaces of this estate are a dream come true. A sprawling infinity pool surrounded by lounging areas and cabanas offers the perfect spot for soaking up the California sun. A fully equipped outdoor kitchen and dining area make al fresco dining a breeze while a fire pit provides a cozy ambiance for evening gatherings. In addition to its stunning aesthetics, Beyoncé's Malibu estate incorporates sustainable design principles. Solar panels discreetly integrated into the roof provide clean energy, reducing the property's carbon footprint. Water-saving fixtures and a sophisticated irrigation system ensure responsible water usage, while native plants and drought-tolerant landscaping minimize the need for excessive watering. Evolving into Billionaire's Row, it strikes a balance between luxury and environmental preservation, as seen through initiatives like beach cleanups. Thriving as a luxury destination, it remains committed to environmental stewardship, offering exclusivity while preserving its natural beauty. Beyoncé's acquisition of a $200 million estate in Paradise Cove is a testament to her success and status as one of the world's most influential celebrities. By choosing to make this exclusive coastal enclave her home, she joins a long list of iconic figures who have recognized the allure and prestige of the Paradise Cove area. Melinda Gates's Xanadu 2.0, $145 million. Next, we have the extraordinary Xanadu 2.0, a masterpiece worth a staggering $145 million. This iconic mansion, located at 1835 73rd Ave NE, Medina, Washington, USA, is a true testament to the success and vision of Bill Gates, the co-founder of Microsoft, and his ex-wife Melinda Gates. First and foremost, the sheer size and scale of Xanadu 2.0 are awe-inspiring. With an annual property tax of $1 million, it's no wonder that this mansion can accommodate up to 150 guests for a sit-down dinner party. The main living area boasts a six-meter high ceiling, creating a sense of grandeur and space. But it's not just the size that sets Xanadu 2.0 apart, it's the attention to detail and the luxurious amenities that truly make it stand out. One of the most unique features of Xanadu 2.0 is the trampoline room. Yes, you heard that right, this mansion has a room dedicated solely to trampolines, complete with a six-meter high ceiling. Imagine bouncing around in this room, feeling like you're flying through the air. It's a one-of-a-kind experience that only the Gates family can enjoy. Xanadu 
Amadou 2.0 goes beyond the ordinary with not just one, but six kitchens. These state-of-the-art culinary spaces are a haven for aspiring chefs, furnished with the latest appliances and technology. Whether hosting an intimate gathering or a grand dinner party, these kitchens offer everything needed to craft culinary masterpieces. For fitness enthusiasts, Amadou 2.0 features a sprawling 25,000 square foot gym equipped with top-notch fitness gear. This expansive space allows the Gates family to stay active without leaving home. Post-workout, they can relax in the steam room or sauna, enjoying a well-deserved moment of tranquility. But perhaps one of the most unique features of Xanadu 2.0 is the annual importation of sand. Every year, the Gates family brings in sizable amounts of sand from Caribbean islands to create a beachfront experience. This attention to detail and commitment to creating the perfect ambiance is what sets Xanadu 2.0 apart from any other property. As we explore further, we come across the sprawling library, a haven for bookworms and literature enthusiasts. Spanning over 2,100 square feet, this library is not your average reading space. It features one hidden bar and two hidden bookcases, adding an element of mystery and intrigue. The library at Xanadu Tuto is adorned with a quote from the great Gatsby, enhancing its literary atmosphere, adding to the allure the library holds the Codex Lester, a 16th century Leonardo da Vinci manuscript valued at 30.8 million, an exquisite testament to the Gates family's appreciation for art and culture. Moving outdoors, a stunning 60-foot pool awaits. Enclosed by a 3,900-square-foot building, the pool area provides a seamless connection between indoor and outdoor spaces. Accessible by swimming under a glass wall, this architectural marvel offers a unique experience. To elevate the aquatic ambience, the pool features an underwater sound system, allowing the Gates family to enjoy their favorite tunes while swimming. And let's not forget about the car enthusiasts. Xanadu 2.0 boasts multiple garages, each housing an elaborate car collection. The most intriguing garage is an underground one made of stainless steel and concrete. With a capacity for up to 10 cars, this garage is not only functional but also a work of art. The intentionally broken concrete adds an artistic touch, making it a hidden gem within the property. Xanadu 2.0 is a true showcase of wealth and luxury. While it was co-owned by Bill and Melinda, it is still a question of who gets to keep it, as the couple has been divorced. Oprah Winfrey's The Promised Land $100 million Upon entering the Promised Land, Oprah Winfrey's primary residence, the immediate impression is one of grandeur. This Mediterranean-style mansion spans an expansive 23,000 square feet, promising a truly luxurious living experience, featuring a sweeping staircase, intricate wrought iron railings, and elegant marble steps. Throughout the space, soaring ceilings and sparkling chandeliers convey a sense of grandeur. In the main living areas, ample natural light illuminates breathtaking views. An open floor plan seamlessly connects the living room, dining area, and kitchen, a perfect setting for entertaining guests. The living room boasts plush sofas, a captivating fireplace, and elegant artwork, creating a comfortable and stylish ambience. Oprah's formal dining area, host to numerous dinner parties, exudes intimacy with soft lighting and luxurious furnishings. Adjacent to this, the gourmet kitchen fulfills every chef's dream, equipped with top-of-the-line appliances, custom cabinetry, and exquisite marble accents. Upstairs, the master suite offers a private sanctuary with a sitting area and fireplace. The bedroom, adorned with a king-sized bed and luxurious linens, leads to a spa-like ensuite bathroom with a soaking tub and walk-in shower, ensuring ultimate relaxation. Five additional bedrooms, each with an ensuite bathroom, provide comfort and stunning views. Oprah's meticulous attention to detail is evident in every corner, ensuring guests feel pampered. Exploring the mansion reveals additional amenities, including a home theater with plush seating, with a fully equipped gym, spa, and meditation room, reflecting Oprah's commitment to physical and mental well-being. The reduction maintains the quality and essence of the luxurious experience at the Promised Land. The Promised Land's true splendor unfolds across its breathtaking 70-acre grounds, seamlessly blending natural beauty with meticulously designed landscapes. Stepping outside reveals meticulously manicured gardens surrounding the property, featuring vibrant flowers, lush greenery, and perfectly trimmed hedges. A standout feature is the stunning swimming pool, complemented by a fully equipped outdoor kitchen and dining area. Ideal for alfresco gatherings, the kitchen boasts a barbecue grill, a pizza oven, and ample counter space for food preparation. The dining area, adorned with a large table and comfortable seating, sets the stage for welcoming outdoor entertaining. Further exploration leads to a meticulously maintained tennis court, a space where Oprah can indulge her love for the sport. 
Surrounded by lush greenery, the court offers a serene setting for both friendly matches and invigorating workouts, allowing Oprah to stay active while immersed in the beauty of nature. The promised land also features a private helipad, allowing Oprah to easily travel to and from her estate. This convenient feature ensures that she can access her property with ease, whether she's arriving from a business trip or hosting high-profile guests. The expansive grounds of the promised land also include walking paths and serene meditation gardens. These tranquil spaces offer a retreat from the outside world, allowing Oprah to find solace and reconnect with nature. The promised land is a true testament to Oprah's success and luxurious lifestyle. Kim Kardashian, Hidden Hills Mansion, 60 million. Kim Kardashian's Hidden Hills Mansion, valued at an impressive $60 million, provides a detailed and exquisite glimpse into the epitome of luxury living. Originally acquired by Kim and Kanye West for $20 million in 2014, the mansion underwent an extensive renovation, resulting in a residence that harmonizes opulence with minimalist aesthetics. The grand living room serves as the focal point, featuring two facing sofas and an elegant grand piano set against a backdrop of floor-to-ceiling glass windows. This design not only enhances the sense of spaciousness, but also floods the room with natural light, creating an atmosphere of tranquility. Kim describes the living space as a refuge from the chaos of the outside world, emphasizing the importance of a calming environment. The playroom, a vibrant exception to the neutral color palette, is a haven for Kim's four children, North, Saint, Chicago, and Psalm West. It boasts a playful setup with a ball pit, slide, and Murakami pillows, showcasing Kim's commitment to providing a stimulating and enjoyable space for her kids. Moving into the heart of the home, the kitchen's stands as a culinary masterpiece. A massive center island takes center stage, surrounded by stainless steel appliances and pristine countertops. The minimalist design eliminates unnecessary clutter, contributing to the overall sleek and sophisticated ambiance. The dining area, adjacent to the kitchen, features a round table where the family gathers. This space exudes a sense of togetherness, complemented by a large sofa and living area. The backyard reveals an unexpected surprise. A full-sized basketball court designed in black black and grey tones, seamlessly integrating with the mansion's neutral aesthetic. The outdoor area also houses a home gym with glass walls, offering a spacious and invigorating workout space for Kim. Kim's private spaces, including the bedroom and master bathroom, continue the minimalist theme. The bedroom incorporates an all-white sitting room, where Kim enjoys sipping tea and writing letters, surrounded by serene elegance. The master bathroom introduces a unique feature with floating sinks, showcasing the mansion's commitment to distinctive design elements. In addition to the primary living spaces, the mansion boasts a variety of unique areas, including a cozy breakfast nook and a piano room, featuring an impressive Steinway grand piano. Kim's commitment to maintaining a clutter-free environment is evident in her commercial-sized kitchen, emphasizing practicality for her large family. In the ongoing divorce proceedings with Kanye West, Kim retained ownership of the mansion, showcasing her attachment to the luxurious Hidden Hills property. This mansion not only represents a significant financial investment, but also also reflects Kim Kardashian's taste for sophisticated and minimalist living. Victoria Beckham's London Home, $35 million. Victoria Beckham's London mansion, located in the exclusive area of Holland Park, is a stunning residence worth an estimated $35 million. Acquired by the power couple Victoria and David Beckham in 2013 for a reported $37.9 million, the home underwent extensive renovations costing an additional $10 million. This luxurious property serves as the primary residence for the Beckhams and is particularly well-suited for their family life. The mansion is spacious, featuring a well-thought-out layout with a harmonious blend of modern amenities and classic design elements. With six bedrooms, the house provides ample space for the family's needs. Victoria Beckham, known for her keen sense of style, has curated the interior design of the mansion to reflect a sophisticated and cozy atmosphere. The checkered tiled floors in the hallway and wooden ceilings in the master bedroom contribute to the overall aesthetic. The state-of-the-art kitchen is equipped with modern appliances and sleek black cupboards. The open wooden shelving with strip lighting adds an extra touch of luxury. The kitchen's design seamlessly combines the large windows and natural wood characteristics of a period property with the stainless steel accents of a contemporary home. The living room is adorned with vine leaf and floral print wallpaper, injecting a pop of colour into the space. An intricately carved cream fireplace surround and an open log fire create a cosy focal point for the family to unwind. The dining room features a long wooden dining table and benches, providing ample seating for the entire family. Industrial-style lights hang overhead, and decorative touches, such as a round mirror above the fireplace, enhance 
enhance the stylish ambiance. The salon, a designated space for hosting special occasions, is filled with beautiful flowers and antique fixtures. Notably, it was the venue for Brooklyn Beckham and Nicola Peltz's one-year wedding anniversary celebration. Victoria Beckham's all-white closet is a fashionista's dream, often showcased on her social media. It serves as the perfect backdrop for displaying her stylish outfits. The master bedroom features wooden ceilings, giving the room a cabin-like feel. This space reflects a balance of luxury and comfort, providing a serene retreat for the couple. The garden is designed for both relaxation and entertainment, featuring a spacious patio area and a paddling pool. A teepee provides a charming spot for the children to play, adorned with fairy lights and lanterns. Victoria Beckham's London mansion is not only an architectural gem, but also a warm and inviting family home. With its thoughtfully designed interiors, stylish decor and luxurious amenities, it stands as a testament to the couple's taste and commitment to creating a comfortable yet elegant living space for their family. Rihanna's new LA penthouse, $21.6 million. Rihanna, the global music sensation and Fenty founder, has recently acquired a breathtaking penthouse in the coveted Century Condominium building in Los Angeles. This opulent residence, situated on the 40th floor, was formerly owned by Friends star Matthew Perry, who sold it to Rihanna for an impressive $21.6 million in 2021. Nestled in the celebrity-approved the Century Condominium building, Rihanna's new penthouse offers panoramic views of the city, the ocean and the mountains. Positioned on the 40th floor, the residence provides a dazzling spectacle of Los Angeles, both during the day and illuminated at night. Spanning a vast 9,000 square feet, the penthouse boasts four bedrooms, eight bathrooms, and expansive living spaces. Rihanna's upgrade from her previous unit in the century means gaining an additional bedroom, three more bathrooms, and nearly 6,000 extra square feet. Every room in Rihanna's new home is designed on a grand scale. The living room features two fireplaces, and the master suite encompasses multiple living spaces, creating an atmosphere of luxury and comfort. Ambient lighting adds opulence to the hallways, showcasing art and decorative objects on open shelves. The chef's kitchen is spacious and airy, equipped with an island for casual dining. A separate dining room with glass walls emphasizes the breathtaking views. The modern and functional design of the kitchen reflects Rihanna's taster for both style and practicality. A soundproof screening room with plush seating and four terraces ideal for outdoor entertaining and dining. The property offers a perfect blend of sophistication and entertainment catering to Rihanna's lifestyle. The Century, designed by Robert A.M. Stern Architects, is a celebrity hotspot with notable residents like Denzel Washington, Candy Spelling, and Paula Abdul. The building features 1.6 hectares of private gardens, a 23-meter-long swimming pool, a screening room, yoga and Pilates studios, and a wine storage facility. Matthew Perry purchased the entire 40th floor in 2017, making significant upgrades before listing it for $35 million in 2019. After reducing the price to 23 million, it was eventually sold to Nick Molnar in 2021. Molnar listed it for $28 million in 2022, marking one of the most expensive condo transactions in Los Angeles residential sales history. Rihanna's acquisition of this $21.6 million LA penthouse not only signifies her real estate prowess, but also showcases her affinity for luxurious living. The property, with its stunning views, spacious interiors, and premium amenities, reflects the global icon's impeccable taste and style. Loreen Powell House in San Francisco, $16.5 million. Lorene Powell, renowned philanthropist and founder of Emerson Collective, has expanded her real estate portfolio with the recent acquisition of a luxurious mansion in San Francisco's Russian Hill neighborhood. This four-story residence, purchased for an impressive $16.5 million in an all-cash transaction, reflects Powell Jobs' discerning taste and adds to her collection of multi-million dollar properties. Powell Jobs' new residence provides breathtaking views of the San Francisco Bay. The mansion, spanning 6,180 square feet is a testament to both classic and modern design elements. Originally built in 1902, the mansion underwent a modern refresh by interior designer Stephen Volpe under the ownership of venture capitalist Danny Reimer. Reimer, who purchased the home in 2013, curated a sophisticated and open layout, making it an appealing and stylish living space. The chef's kitchen is adorned with plenty of white marble, featuring a particularly long slab for the breakfast island. Stainless steel appliances and a banquette contribute to the modern 
and functional design. Modern built-in bookshelves and a fireplace accentuate the living room, offering various sitting areas. A formal dining room with French doors opening onto a terrace enhances the dining experience. The entire third floor is dedicated to the master suite, providing a private retreat, a skylight, a full dressing room, and a spa-like bathroom with white marble elements characterize the master suite. The bathroom includes a freestanding tub on a marble slab, adjacent to a glass-enclosed shower. The master suite grants access to a private terrace, allowing for moments of relaxation with stunning views. Multiple balconies and exterior spaces offer opportunities for outdoor enjoyment. A spacious backyard features an oval fire pit and modern stone seats, creating an inviting outdoor setting. Powell Jobs purchase, completed in an all-cash transaction, marks the second highest price paid for a property in the city in the current year. The residence was on the market for just over a month before Powell Jobs secured it. Lorene Powell Jobs, with an estimated net worth of nearly $20 billion, has displayed a penchant for luxury real estate. Apart from this San Francisco mansion, her notable acquisitions include properties in Palo Alto, Malibu and Wellington, Florida. Powell Jobs is also actively involved in designing a $20 million compound in Woodside. Lorene Powell. Jobs' latest real estate venture in San Francisco reflects not only a significant financial investment, but also a commitment to curated, high-quality living spaces. The mansion's fusion of classic architecture with modern elements aligns with Powell Jobs' refined taste and adds another gem to her impressive collection of multi-million dollar residences. Meghan Markle's family home, $15 million. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's family home, located in the affluent Montecito neighborhood of Santa Barbara, is reportedly worth $15 million. The couple purchased the property for $14.7 million in mid-June 2020, and public documents reveal that they secured a $9.5 million mortgage for the private estate. This stunning mansion, nestled in the picturesque Montecito area, is situated just a six-minute drive from Oprah Winfrey's estate, originally owned by Russian businessman Sergei Grishin, who bought it for $25.5 three million dollars in 2009 the property spans over five acres and boasts a 14 town 500 square foot estate with seven bedrooms and 13.5 bathrooms built in 2003 the house offers a luxurious country style master suite with a wooden beamed ceiling an ensuite bathroom and access to a private balcony adorned with an ivy covered pergola the estate is equipped with various amenities including a library gym sauna home cinema arcade games room and a lift the couple's home showcases elegance Interiors with wood-panelled walls, oversized arched doorways and European-inspired fireplaces. Meghan Markle's home office, featured in a video announcing her 40 Type 40 initiative, provides a glimpse into the tastefully decorated space with neutral tones and luxurious details such as a Hermes throw and a plush dog bed for Meghan's beagle guy. The extensive property includes a tea house, a children's cottage and an elaborate play area, creating an ideal environment for the couple's two children, Archie and Lilibet. The backyard features a tiered rose garden and alfresco terrace and a large swimming pool and is surrounded by picturesque olive trees and Italian cypress trees. Additionally, there's a full-size tennis court and a detached guest house for hosting family and friends. Despite the opulence of their Montecito home, the couple has faced security challenges, with reported intruder scares and security alerts prompting concerns. Recent reports suggest that the couple may be considering a move from Montecito to the neighboring community of Hope Ranch, sparking rumors of a potential estate purchase in the exclusive Santa Barbara enclave. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's California mansion, with its luxurious features and stunning surroundings, reflects their commitment to privacy and family life amid the challenges of living in the public eye. Talita von Furstenberg's former home in Manhattan, $10 million. Talita von Furstenberg's former residence, a luxurious apartment located at 165 Charles Saint in the West Village of New York City, is now on the market for a staggering $10 million. The 2541 square feet loft, situated on the 10th floor, offers breathtaking views of the Hudson River. The apartment, previously inhabited by the 23-year-old socialite and granddaughter of renowned designer Diane von Furstenberg, features three bedrooms, three bathrooms, and a 35-foot terrace. The expansive living space is adorned with floor-to-ceiling windows that flood the interior with natural sunlight, showcasing Wenger African hardwood floors and 11-foot ceilings. Designed by acclaimed architect Richard Meyer, the 16-floor glass tower, constructed in 2004, received the New York chapter of the American Institute of Architects Design Award in 2005. The modern and sleek design is evident throughout the residence, with a gallery leading to a spacious 33-foot by 22-foot living room and an open kitchen equipped with high-end appliances, including a Gaggenau convection oven and cooktop, a sub-zero 
Zero refrigerator and a Dornbracht sink. The primary bedroom boasts a 19-foot corner suite with a sitting area, dressing area, and two walk-in closets. The ensuite bathroom features grey jet mist, granite slab stone flooring, a frameless shower, and an extra deep soaking tub by Zumi. The apartment also includes a separate laundry area with a Bosch washer and dryer, a coveted feature in the New York City real estate scene. Residents of this opulent building enjoy access to a range of amenities, including a 24-hour concierge. Additionally, the future owner of Talita's former loft will benefit from a private wine cellar and a large storage unit. Talita von Furstenberg, who grew up in Los Angeles, moved to the East Coast in 2017 to attend Georgetown University before transferring to New York University to study fashion business and marketing. As part of the restructuring of her grandmother's DVF fashion brand, Talita was named co-chairwoman, taking on a significant role in the company's leadership. The listing agent for this remarkable property is Spencer Means of Compass. With its stylish design, stunning views, and a plethora of amenities, this West Village apartment stands as a prime example of upscale New York City living. And this was all about inside the richest women's 2.6 billion homes. Thank you for staying with us. If you enjoy our content, our newest videos are just a click away.